control yourself, man. You can do it. I know you can. You have that ability. My parents have driven me to this. Good day, everybody. Brett Miller from 77 Media. Figured I'd make an interesting little video about how my Fitbit was broken. Woke up this morning, the screen was all separated. As you can see, it's not right now. But I decided to go ahead and make a quick video on how to fix it. It was pretty simple. Just use a little bit of two-part epoxy. And so I will give a little bit of audio guidance while I'm showing you how I fixed it. Enjoy. To start off with, I had to clean the edges of the screen and the edges of the bezel to ensure that when I put the two-part epoxy on, that it would stick and had no residue left from any other glue that used to be there that almost held the screen on for a while. So this is a Fitbit Ionic. It is approximately a year and a half old and it, the screen just came loose. There's no reason or rhyme to why, but it did. And that's why I'm fixing it. Next, I had to prepare the two-part epoxy. I started by cutting off a tip off of a Q-tip, so I had a disposable thing I could use to mix it up with. I then added what I figured would be about how much two-part epoxy I would need plus a little uh, just evenly squeezing out of the tubes then mixed it up until it became clear as the two separate parts you can see a little bit of a yellow tinge on one and a clear tinge on the other once you mix it all together evenly it goes clear once you have that even then it's ready to apply Next, I got myself a large paper clip and bent one of the arms around so that I could use it to apply the two-part epoxy to the inner edge of the bezel of the Fitbit. As you can see, I had to fight a little bit with it. I kept the watch band on the Fitbit while I was working with it to give me something to hold on to. I saw some other places that recommended removing the watch band while you're replacing the screen. I found it easier to manipulate the watch to put the two-part epoxy into the bezel with the watch band on. putting the two-part epoxy in place and setting the screen into the bezel I had to clamp it to hold it tightly in place while the two-part epoxy cured after I did that I realized that two-part epoxy had oozed out between the bezel and the screen and I needed to clean it and so I attempted to clean it with an alcohol wipe to get it all cleaned up It was at this point that I realized that the watch band was making it hard for me to manipulate the watch to clean the face properly. So I pulled the watch band off, got it all set up, and put clamps on either side from top to bottom to make sure I had even pressure on the watch face into the bezel so that it would cure flat and even. And then I cleaned the rest of the epoxy out of the interface so that it was nice and clean and I didn't have any left to have to try to figure out how to get off of the screen later. At this point, I took a break, went, got lunch, did a few errands, 
it was gone approximately an hour and a half, giving the epoxy more than enough time to set up and cure properly so that I could come back, put the wash together, clean it up and make sure it seated properly. You'll see that I was checking the screen with my finger to see if I felt any lumps or anything coming out of the edge of the bezel. And then I took an alcohol wipe, cleaned up the whole watch face and checked it for any kind of residue that I might need to try to figure out how to get off. Overall, it was pretty clean and there was nothing much to re remove. So I put the watch band back on it and started using my watch again. You will see that I did use alcohol to clean the screen up and get it nice and wet just to kind of make sure that no alcohol got in between the bezel and the screen. Then I took a little microfiber cloth that I have and cleaned up the screen completely. And you can see that it is nice and clean when I was finished. that I use for this is Gorilla's 5 minute epoxy that sets clear and it seems to be working really well. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you liked it, please let me know. If you didn't like it, also please let me know. Anyway, I hope you have a great day and I will catch you in the next video.